Hello and welcome back to CNB Nintendo. I'm your host, Linky, and today we're going to do a quick short video on a new pack of uh, one inch um, Super Mario uh, figures from World of Nintendo. This is also known as the Micro LAN series. Now, I found this uh, gold series um, in a bargain bin. Now, this is actually the first time I've seen these here in Denmark. They're not very popular here. And most of the place you can actually find these is like online re uh, retailers and they are usually asking for a very hefty price. Now actually, as I mentioned, I found this in a, at, a, at a one of our toy stores in a bargain bin and the price was actually very cheap. So I just got this one. And as you can see, this is the gold series where we have Gold Mario, Goomba, Koopa Trooper, Hammer Bro, Lucky 2, Super Mushroom, Bullet Bill, Boo and Cheap Cheap all coming in gold and this is of course the play sets up here that you can also get and you can kind of attach them to form your own little um, playing level now i don't have any of these yet because as mentioned the prices for these micro ones is like incredibly expensive um, more so than the, than the big figures and i don't know why um, this is from the new Super Mario Bros. 2 series, um, where everything was gold. This was kind of like on the 3DS, I believe. And here we got the Lucky 2, Boo, and uh, um, the Hammer Bro. And that is why I also have there from another series, so we can kind of compare. Now, I don't have the regular Lucky 2, but, you know, no worries about that. Now, so, let's open this one up quickly. So we can take a look at them and compare them. Easy as always. Let's start with the boo here. So I actually like this one. It's a pretty decent figure. Now the C mark is actually black hair. Ah, it's also black hair. So you can kind of see they're just a, a palette swap. They're exactly the same. There's not much difference, so it's kind of a cheap way of doing things. But us um, collectors here, we don't care that it's the same, but the fact that it actually has a different color and has a different variant. Kind of like this, so it's actually pretty cool. Put these down here. And let's take the Hammer Bros. Now, the thing about the Hammer Bros is if you actually look, the eyes are a bit weird. But I'm thinking that's because it's so difficult to paint something so small. I'm assuming these are hand painted because I don't know if a machine can actually do this, but probably can. Mm. Again, a palette swap. Now, I actually do like the golden turtle shell here. It actually looks pretty good. I think this suits, and this should definitely be a, a regular in the Mario games going forward. Not as much though. A gold boo, but I think this one would be a nice addition. And then we have the lucky two. Notice that there is no CE mark on this one, so I'm assuming that the regular one doesn't have a, a mark either, and same with this one doesn't have either. It seems to be only one, but yeah. I have a bit of a soft spot for these uh, micro uh, figures here, as I mentioned, and uh, I'm actually looking forward to getting more of these, a lot more, and um, hopefully I can get some of the playsets as well, so I can make like my own little stage and put them in the window shelf or something like that. But um, the good thing about these is that you're actually able to get a lot of different figures and they don't take up much space. So if you don't have a lot of 
space to store uh, your collection, these ones are actually pretty good. The only problem is, as I mentioned before, is the price tag on these. And that might just be because it's here in Denmark, I'm not sure, but definitely something that needs to be worked on. Anyways, thanks for watching and don't forget to uh, push that like button and subscribe to our channel. It really helps us grow um, so that we can push out more content. Thanks for watching and we'll see you again next week. Bye bye.